This story needs some background music at 614. Ohio players roller coaster would work because can you imagine filling your backyard with a model roller coaster and you're sure it's going to be waiting in line at an amusement park? Yeah, News Fast John Rutter introduces us to a pair of coaster enthusiasts who made a mini roller coaster that just might take your breath away. Good morning, John. Hey, good morning. Well, Magnum XL 200 sports a drop of 200 feet in speeds of more than 70 miles an hour. And this scaled down version, it'll still leave your jaw on the floor. It was the dawn of a new era. It's the, the kind of air time, the air time where you're flying out of your seat. Cutting edge. It feels like it definitely wasn't planned to be that extreme. Dubbed the first hyper coaster when it opened back in 1989. So I went to Cedar Point when I was like, 13. I rode Magnum and I hated it. Cedar Point's Magnum XL200 was the tallest. And then everyone's like, oh, you got to ride Magnum in the magic seat. And fastest. That's the third row of the front car. Roller coaster in the world. The first time I rode it in that seat, I'm like, okay, I understand all the hype now. Kicking off the coaster wars across the country. I feel kind of like a traitor. So <laughs> growing up, I grew up in California. And with the coaster wars, it was always Cedar Point in Ohio versus Magic Mountain in California. But now Magnum XL 300 is causing just as many thrills. I had to order probably five different times more pieces because I kept running out. Though it's 1 20th the size, exactly 300 centimeters tall. And you got to make it look like it's from the 80s or 90s with like the spaceship, like windshield and everything. No detail was too small. All those cross ties, they didn't come that color. I had to dye them all. It was very painstaking. For this 10 foot replica. It took about 15 minutes per hundred cross ties. And there's thousands of cross ties. Made from Kinex. Aero is like this classic legacy roller coaster manufacturer. Coaster enthusiasts Luke Reynolds and Johnny Rothfuss took roughly six weeks to make this model come to life. And Magnum XL 200 at Cedar Point was, was one of Aero's like crowning jewels at the time. And after sharing their coaster creation on YouTube. I think about all the roller coasters that myself and most other people will never get to ride. But we do get to live vicariously through YouTube and through the internet watching the POVs and, and using our imagination. It's been all downhill from there. And on that token, I'm like, wow, this roller coaster is just as real to, to half the world. Luke says the replica will only live for maybe another week or two. Uh, he's got to take it down, actually, because he is moving. Don't worry, he says he may build another coaster in the future. And while he didn't say exactly which one, he is thinking it might be one from this millennium. Oh, we'll have to stay tuned to see what's next. Was that the, was that the, uh, was that a, like a, like a hint? Yeah, it's a hint. Never know. You know John yeah, knows. John already knows he's just not going to tell. It's just going to hang there. Let <laughs> I, it hang I there. I tell you what, I absolutely love roller coasters. Yeah. Aren't they like, fun? I mean, it, I just, they make me super sick. But I still love, I still love them. <laughs> Aren't like, they fun? The I'm screen. super sick. Like, it ruins the rest of my day. But, but I you love, love it. I still, I just still love them. All right.